Okay, um, I don't have much time left here, but, um, this is probably the most critical subject I've ever covered, um, because it deals with evolution, bio-evolution, okay? So, naturally, it's going to start in childhood, because the first thing that I observed uh, when I was able to look through a lot of scientific manuals, I'm taking what I call a baseline of scientific knowledge, okay? And what I do is I measure that against what we call spiritual development, spiritual growth and development, because spiritual science is math and physics, okay? So, for example, if you go to the NCBI, which is the National Center for Biotechnology and Information, or you do a, a, I don't even use Google as a search engine, uh, pre-search is much better than that, pre-search is a much better one, you'll get more comprehensive information because they don't censor what it is that they don't want you to know. Because if you're doing research, you get what are you gathering? Information, data. They don't want you to know data. Because then you'll, then you'll catch on to what they're doing. <clears throat> so probably the one area that probably is going to have the greatest impact on evolution, because that's what a classroom is, okay, is bioengineering. So that's one of the reasons I went into two different... Um, bioengineering or if you will ecology social ecology and then when you go into the behavioral sciences it's all coupled because it's a multidisciplinary science right you're looking at the relationships of things that have the ability to communicate to others okay so what we're measuring here in evolution is evolution of intelligence which is higher intelligence and higher creativity and the amount of data that you're using in which to do what program matter Okay, so when you have beings that um, you realize, at least I knew this as a child, looking at the science that was being developed and how fast using the exponential function, they use the knowledge that they gain because they work in a collaborative effort, effort in order to learn more about how biology works. Uh, you begin to realize that with their spiritual development, they don't think in terms of love and service to others in the manner in which they use knowledge that is in love and service to others. Instead, you begin to realize, wow, look how, since I've got all this knowledge and I understand chromosomes and data and computers and software and DNA, wow, that's a lot of power, man. You realize I could have the power to holographically program uh, the software and something, which means I get to choose what it is that that thing experiences? Wow, I can play God now that I got knowledge. Okay, knowledge alone, okay, is dangerous. It depends on the programmer, right? Wisdom, value, benefit. What has the greatest value? Remember my earlier videos, how we determine value tag? by time vectors, time and space vectors, of what we become aware of, what others are aware of, and what they're doing with their energy, what they do with their mind's energy, 